Quickly passing it away to Ben Smith. Stepping back and field. Nicely tackled. And it, it results in a penalty to the Pumas. A great tackle made by Hernandez. And now he undoes all the good work by knocking on. Wayne Barnes is heading off to the big screen to see if he can see what's happened. So we've got the quick tap penalty. Oh, it's Richie McCaw. Oh, he swung a leg out there, no question. And we're seeing the seven black there trip the player who takes a tap penalty, is that correct? Correct. OK, yes. so seven goes to the bin. Correct. Well, Richie McCaw, the all-black captain, is going to the sin bin. Are uh, you giving a restart, please? Red and black jumpers, now Tolu Latu goes to ground. Well, that trip is dangerous, they're going to win it, though. There's a penalty! Well, it's 45 metres out. And it's against Richie McCaw, ironically. You weren't a tackler. Less than two minutes remaining. Goes to the back. And Hooper is there. McCaw, seven, don't put yourself there. McCaw falling into the right. The defensive line there, watch Richie McCaw, he's just... He's got more than enough opportunity to roll back to his side. It's an almighty scrap going on here for the loose ball. Jonathan Thomas taken by McCaw. Coming very slowly. It's a penalty against the All Blacks, though. Hook trying to step his way through. Referee still playing that advantage. Little Shane Williams. Plenty of courage. The All Blacks six metres short of their own line. And he's going to call somebody out here. Out is given McCaw 10 minutes. Richard McCaw, off his feet. Yellow card, Richard McCaw. So he'll spend 10 minutes on the sideline, Richard McCaw. Well, you can see how Richard McCaw works himself over the ball. Motlock juggled, caught by the bootlace. Offside That's New Zealand. Now, Richie McCaw again came right round. They've decided that the high tackle wasn't a problem and the Pumas make ground through their skipper, Agustin Freebie, and this time the penalty advantage goes to Argentina. Well, I have made the call Your very quickly. Yeah. Creevy's carried it Your up captain. strongly into a Lots little bit stop. of space. It's going to be the hooker who throws the ball in. And Richie McCaw may well have been the man penalised there for the ruck having formed. Ten metre mark. And McCaw offside there. Now they look to roll it away for the first time in the game. And they have an advantage here, France. Now the ball goes to the ground and they'll come back for the penalty. Still there, he's playing an advantage this time. And Wales get a penalty. Advantage. It's Richie McCaw in there. On your feet through the rack. On your feet through the rack. Yeah. Makes a half break there. You can see how strong Richie McCaw is. It takes two, three, nearly four Australians to bring him down. And now it's Foley. Gives a short ball to Hooper. Tackle had to be made there. It was a good one in the end. Penalty. This one is right in front. It's about 36 metres back. No, that's a really cynical penalty. Coming around the side of the ruck, swinging the foot around Richie McCaw yeah, there, sure. kicking the ball out of the halfback's hand. It's all right if you come through the middle of the ruck. Richie McCaw there, clearly from the side, as you can see. So the Wallabies have the ball back. Boy, they need to fight back in a hurry. Not going to go offside. Then better from Mark Evans. And on to Rory Lamont. Ball gone. But it's a We're penalty offside, to Scotland. You had a rook behind you. You've been beat by the rook. Offside. They're going for more, Marla. Lost, lost, it's lost now, lost. Ruck has beaten you. But it's still a penalty. It there. We're all over and it's ball. much closer in. Become friends again because he, uh, well, yeah, that looked like a penalty. Yeah, that's a dead set penalty. He goes to ground about 25 metres out. Yes, ball is out. Ball is out. 
And who's going to come up with this? A penalty to the Wallabies. Richard McCall penalised from coming in from the wrong side. That's the 10 metre line All Black territory. Now Marla. Youngs. McCall's got him there. He'll be penalised for that. From the side, Redform. From the side. This is the impact that he took there. McCaw comes through the ruck and just sneaks around the side there. And to be fair, he's leaning on a couple of players as well. Gives away the penalty. And still looking for that offload. Southall comes again, and there is a penalty again. Oh, now a chat might be heading the way of Richie McCaw. And good strong run from McNard. He's playing advantage again. And there he is again with another catch. And it's game off. Advantage Get from here. the side, Sam. It's a rugby, a great tackle around the legs. McCaw's in there early, but then he goes off his feet. He doesn't support his body weight, so I think that's a legitimate penalty. Can they rescue this right at the end? Crowd still believe. Young's caught in possession. Knocked on, but it was a penalty. Here goes Shanklin. Looked as though he threw a gap for a moment, but it closed pretty smartly. Peel, now they're on the front foot. Williams. Well, I mean, Richie McCaw, what, what more could the man do? The upshot of it is, though, they're on a warning. But it's it's pedantic refereeing, that is. Now Diaga. Well, how's that ankle? They were sweating on him during the week. They've come back yeah. for the penalty. Well. That's a technical seven. penalty by the look of things. Not I back 10 metres. The dog goes wide. The Rougerie. Straightens. Inside the All Black 22. McCaw comes through. Penalty. On the floor. Now the hand in the ruck is spotted. On the ground. 